Okay, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is Brianna, and we're here live today with the one and only Angel Marino. What's going on today? Nothing much, nothing much. Just working. Trying okay. to keep my face out there as much as I can. Well, I can say good morning because it is morning. Um, you straight from the road. You know, where you coming from? Uh, I just came from, um, what was I? I'd go so many places. <laughs> uh, Traveling man. Yeah. Okay, well, welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. You know, introduce yourself. Uh, what's going on, everybody? My name is Angel Moreno. Um, you can follow me on all social media at Angel Moreno, M-O-R-E-N-O, music. Um, I have a new single out on all major streaming platforms. It's called Creep. Make sure y'all go check it out. Go get that. Okay. So, tell us how you got started. Like, you know, what made you get into the industry? Oh, man. All right. So, shout out to Chris Brown. Um... I bought his first album when I was in like sixth grade, mm -hmm. and I used to I used to sing on the phone to girls in middle school, mm -hmm. and that's how I got started. When I was like twelve years old. So by you singing to the girls in middle school, you just knew that you had that passion for just singing. I mean, well, I didn't even really know I could sing to be honest. I was just uh -huh. singing the song, and then somebody was like, "You got a nice voice," and then it just went from there. So uh, my mom had got me a laptop for Christmas, and I ended up just. Recording. I started recording, making my own music. Okay. You said Chris, shout out to Chris Brown, so he's one of your um, inspirations. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the industry. Anybody else you look up to? Oh in uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I would say Usher, Lloyd. Um, I listen to a lot of. There's a lot of artists for real that that influenced me and inspired me. But those are the main three. Okay, describe your sound. What can we expect? A little bit of new school, a little bit of old school, mixed together with my own little flavor, own little twist to it. So who who is your favorite artist out now? Definitely Chris Brown, still. Still Chris Brown? Yeah, okay, what Chris. about rappers? Mm, that's a good question. I would have to say, and not just because I'm from North Carolina, but I would say J. Cole. I rock with J. Cole. Heavy. Yeah, he is dope. What mm. part of North Carolina are you from? Goldsboro. Okay. Not too far. I'm from um, South Carolina originally. Oh, what book? Florence. I got family in uh, Columbia. Shout out okay. to the Metro. Okay. Yep. Shout out to South Carolina. Okay. So um, going back to your uh, current project, um, is it out? Well, like uh, your, um, like, do you have like an EP or? I'm currently working on okay. an EP right now. I'm three singles in and uh. Okay. I haven't even named it yet, to be honest. Like, okay. I'm okay. real particular with my names and beat selection, but it's coming soon, though, definitely. Okay. Who who are some of the producers you're working with? Um, Shout out to my boy, Tag 4. Um, Flip Music. Uh, man, what's the other one? She called me Oh God. I can't remember. It, okay. it's, it's a few. Some dope ones, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Right. Who, so, who do you aspire to work with? Um, definitely Chris Brown. I know I keep saying <laughs> that, <laughs> but um, yeah, Chris and uh, I mean, there's a lot of people that I would love to work with. You know, I just love music. Like people used to call me Picasso because I music is like my art. It's like my canvas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I don't even really charge for features. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you dope, let's just work. Let's just make magic. Okay. Um, um, what's like a typical, like what's your, what's the, what's your process? Like how do you prepare for like your studio sessions? Like take us um, to that. I need some hot part. tea, mm -hmm. some lemon, probably put some honey in it. And that pretty much just put me in my zone. You know what I mean? Just, uh, I just go in there and just do it. I don't even write it down. I record it piece by piece until it's finished. Okay. You know the... The rap era is is definitely changing. Um, mm -hmm. Again, you you know you're taking it back to the '90s with a mixture of well, old school with a mixture of new school. You know what is it that you can bring differently to the table? Um, what I aim to bring to the table is that you know how back in the day, like you would hear music and it would, it would make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like you. You see your mom, like, she doing laundry, she vacuuming, sweeping the house, she playing. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. trying to bring that feeling back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what um, a lot of music lacks nowadays. 
is that that feeling that soulful feeling I, I can't explain it but you know what i'm saying you just mm-hmm. feel it in your soul like it's just good music right right because you know um we definitely have to pay respect you know r.i.p to the great aretha franklin mm-hmm. um because she's definitely paved the way and opened the doors for you know a lot of the you know up and coming um what i can see great and uh, do you see yourself being in this longevity or oh, do you have like a specific time frame that you just want to you know get it in um i'm here as long as the people want me here you know what i mean uh, i definitely plan to be around for a while okay so right. do you see yourself getting into like tv film definitely. in the future definitely definitely okay like um what what are some of your favorite uh, shows that you you rocking with now and you watching. Um, shout out to Love and Hip Hop. Uh, any particular favorite Love and Hip Hop? Power Atlanta. Atlanta, definitely okay. Atlanta. Um, I like Power. Power's cool. Empire, mm-hmm. it's cool. Just wherever I fit in, that you know. Okay. 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 So. Um, what else is ne- what what else is next for you? Like, I know you have your album, well, your EP that's gonna uh, drop. Um, what's next for you? Um, I have a follow up single. It's called Rock with You. Or uh, actually, I got two follow up singles. I don't know which one I release first, but definitely got those coming. In. I'm just going with the flow right now, just working. You know. Any um, up and coming tours or shows, concerts? Oh, we're working on that. Okay. And right now I'm in the studio with my choreographer Richard Brookes, so we're getting my show together and all of that. Okay. All right. What about A3C? You know that's coming up here, and that's a real big festival for it. You know, independent artists. Um, any spots on that yet? You uh, know of? No, nah, nah, I don't have a spot on it yet, but okay. we definitely in a definitely. Okay. In a, Something in the future, but we definitely have a sound stage coming up. So if you ever. Uh, plan on coming back to Atlanta in October. We definitely have a uh, sound stage for independent cool. artists during A3C. I'm in there. I'll be there. All right. Okay. Definitely. So, you know, let us know again. You've already mentioned it in the beginning, but let the listeners know again how you can be reached. Um, y'all go follow me on all social media at Angel Moreno, M O R E N O Music. And make sure y'all will get my new single. Make sure you stream it, download it, purchase it whatever, uh, on all streaming platforms called Creep. Okay. All right. Was there anything else you want to promote that I didn't ask you about? Uh, no, nah, shout out to MJ. <laughs> okay. Yeah, shout out MJ, to MJ in the building, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you, definitely. Uh, and we do appreciate you for checking in and speaking with Hip Hop Weekly. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you all for having me.